All right, cool. So we are here about to unbox, or I guess open a box of Star Wars Destiny Spirit of the Rebellion packs, which just dropped today on May 4th. I'm joined by my buddy Matt, who you guys probably recognize his hands from the <laughs> 401 release of the first set. Um, so he's going to be opening uh, 18 packs, and I'm going to open 18 packs as well, and we're going to see what we get. So, here we go. Starting off with? I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, Temin Snap Wexley. Oh shit, I've heard of good things about him. So that is an uncommon, obviously. He's not legendary. Always gonna start off with the character. And I guess I can skip through the other stuff. I'm just look at the dice cards. Even though I have no idea what any of them do yet. <laughs> Alright, our second pull. We've got another uncommon. A rebel commando. Special, uh, remove an opponent's dice. Oh yeah, and I guess for Snap Wexley, uh, while at least one of this die is in your pool, your opponent must spend one resource in order to claim the battlefield. Alright, so our new uh, understanding, never buy the first pack from the box. <laughs> first pack, <laughs> confirmed terrible. Looks familiar, but I still don't know what it is. Con artist. Huh. Yellow character only. Uh, special place one damage on this upgrade, then discard cards from the top of an opponent's deck equal to the amount of damage on this upgrade. So that's pretty cool. And that is neutral, so Tim might like that. <laughs> Interrogation droid. Oh, with a lot of discard. <laughs> Villain. After you activate the support, look at a random card in your opponent's hand. If that card is a vent, you may remove this dice to discard it. Yeah, that one's really annoying. Saw it a lot on Tabletop Simulator. Just don't run events. Just don't run events. <laughs> so bad at this. Oh. Oh. New meta. All dice. All right. <laughs> hey. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Chirrut Imwe, who I can never pronounce. We all know what he does, though, because we've seen him a million times in the previews, on the boxes, etc. Cannot play blue, blue abilities on this character. After you activate this character, you may re-roll all of your dice showing blanks. Alright, we've got Umkar Plot. Umkar Plot. Still a common, or whatever. Uh, action, remove any number of your dice showing a combined value of three or more. Then discard a random card from your opponent's hand and gain resources equal to its cost. He's also good. Yeah. There's a lot of crazy things going on with that guy. What's going on? Hey, Adam. Matt, Matt. I don't see you looking right in either. Do you recognize that? I don't. Force push. Nice. Blue character only. Turn up to two of an opponent's dice the size of your choice. Beautiful. So push and throw. Push and Blank throw. Blank, highest <laughs> value. <laughs> so I haven't seen a legendary yet. No, it's a race. So the first. Did you go to the bottom or the top? We'll start from the bottom. Yeah. I swear. That they're, <laughs> no, I don't know. Like like well, like the last set, that's what you guys are saying, right? And I yes. believe you. Is that? Is that that's Ventress. Oh, nice. I was hoping oh, for yeah. a Ventress. 
After opponent discards a card from their hand to reroll dice, you may force them to choose and discard another card from their hand. So good. So good. I guess there's gonna be some sort of Ventress Java kind of mill going. Mm. Oh, I think Andrew's been playing Java Unkar. No, Unkar. I don't know. He's been doing a lot of crazy That's stuff. That's like Crime Lord turn one kind of. He's been doing a lot of crazy stuff. And yeah. Watch out for him. Yeah. You've been playing a lot on tabletop. Lots of characters. I only have played against him really. Yeah. And I think Will or Will and Sawyer a couple times as well. So that is Outer Rim Smuggler who just got errated because he had a broken combo that gave you unlimited money. That's pretty so bad. So after you put the last card from your hand, gain one resource. Errated before he even came out. What was the errat mode? There's a new you condition on cards. Yeah, they added another sentence to it. Hmm. It's um, not actually this. It's, it's not this one? It's the other card. So certain cards now, when oh, you right, play them, right. are set aside. Okay. Right. No more Hyperloop. Okay. Uh, Return of the Jedi will now be okay. set aside after you play it. Okay. I haven't actually had time to look over the Jedi yet. That's the big. That's. I don't know what the rest is, but it was to kill the Hyperloop. Oh, we got an R two. Nice. Oh, nice. R two is. Is it R two and C three? No. C three PO is really good. Yeah. Really good. So Andrew, it is. Me <coughs> increasing its value now. by one. Oh, I'm. Supposed to be putting these this way. Is C3PO? Um, he's he's a hero as well, right? Yeah, and you re remove his die to turn any other die to a different side. Something like that. Something that's like it doesn't matter what he rolls. Yeah. If you want to use it for what he rolls, great. But as long as his, his dies out bad. there, yeah. Good to go. <laughs> It'd be kind of novel if they made him neutral. Because, I'm wondering, right? Like, cause like he totally was Jabba's. Boy for a bit there, right? I now I'm confused as to whether he is or not. I'm sure oh wait, here he is right here. Let's find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's C3PO who we were just talking about. He's gotta be. I don't He is hero. I don't know if there is a character that's neutral. That's neutral yet. Or support, he's a support. Remove this die to resolve one of your dice as if it were showing a different symbol. It keeps the original value. So yeah, it doesn't matter what's on him. And it doesn't matter what's on the other one because you get to resolve any side that you want. So he's insane. Yeah, yeah, that's just. Really um, All right, pack number six. We've got our first legendary. Nice. Four speed. Nice. It's really good. Yeah, the best I had, one. I had to say. <laughs> The best one. Looking like I grabbed the wrong box. Push pull speed. Oh. Oh. What's that? Some sort of melee weapon. That is Range. a handcrafted light bow. Deal three damage to a character or remove all shields from a character, then deal two damage to that character. Pretty nice. Generic dude wielding a bow. <laughs> yeah, I kept thinking that it was uh, Imwe, yeah. but it's not. Because Imwe is also blind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we have another Astromech. I got one of these at the preview event. Action, remove this dice, turn a vehicle die to any side. Beautiful, okay. Yeah. It's nice that you can roll a blank and then do the effect. Mm -hmm. But otherwise. I don't want to jinx myself, but I haven't seen anything that I pulled at the preview events yet. And the streak continues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the knuckles. Not the, not the vibro you're looking for. Uh, yeah, vibro knuckles. I think we've seen these a couple of times. Ambush before resolving this die, you may spend one resource to increase its value by one. So, not the greatest, but I guess good enough. If you want to punch some stuff, it's all right. I'd rather 
rather stab some stuff with a vibroblade. Speaking of vibroblade. Oh, no way. Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it is something even better. We have Force Lightning. Wow. What a box. A blue character only. Special, deal one damage to a character. You may remove a die showing a blank to re-roll this die instead of removing it from your pool. Character. Mm. Pretty good melee card. Alright, so we have the guard, we have the lightning, we just need Palpatine. If he pulls it, the luck on this guy. Alright, let's see. Oh, it looks like one of your vehicles. Nope, Ascension Gun. That's not a vehicle at all. My eyes just are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, special uses the ability on a battlefield that is not being used, but was brought to the game as if you had just claimed it. So brought to the game mean the one that wasn't chosen at the start, right? Mm -hmm. One of the two, not just, hey, yeah. I brought this to the game. It's in my deck box. So. I have this one in my bag. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait, I'm gonna go buy a few more packs. <laughs> <laughs> so, my next card is the legendary is over here. DT29 Blaster Pistol. Remove an opponent's die, showing a resource toss. So, that's not too bad. Oh, it's good to have more guns. You like playing Django? Yeah. <laughs> guns are good. <laughs> Django Beard just got something new. Lightsaber Pike. Melee. Action, remove this die to give a non-attached character one shield. So, I guess that's their player they would like. Mm -hmm. Villain, blue. Oh, I just realized that the handcrafted light bow is actually legendary. Yeah. What was the cost on it? Three bucks. Three bucks. Snap. It's not good. Don't worry about it. Oh. Tie pilot. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it was? I thought that it was a death trooper. Ah. Uh, while this dies in your pool, your other dice showing range damage cannot be removed. I thought it was another Snap Wexley. <laughs> oh, I hope, oh, snap. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we got next? That is a, sh that is a ship, right? That is a yeah. ship. That is the Delta 7 Interceptor. Special reroll up to three dice, yours and or your opponents. Not bad. Cost three. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The final five. Ooh. Oh, listener. And it's one that I've been waiting for. Oh dang. What this do you got? is the Z6 Riot Control Baton. As featured on the box. Yep. It has redeploy. After you roll this die into your pool, you may re-roll it. So, it has those two blanks on it, but chances are you're just going to re-roll it anyways. And those sides are really good. So it gives you two chances to do some big damage. That uh, Stormtrooper is really good too. Yeah. Really good. I can't remember his name. Oh, no. but I hope Liz I was playing him the other day and it was disgusting. Well, we've got the director. Krennic. Can't play him until you get a Death Trooper. <laughs> he is legendary. Cruel but brilliant requires what? Like three Death Troopers yeah. to play? <laughs> yeah, you need to find a lot. That's the hunt card. The Good old FFG. Is that inside the legend? I've got two. How many have you seen? Three. Oh, Krennic and the Force Lightning. Those are all pretty good. Mon Mothma. Ooh. 
She's the spirit of the rebellion, man. <laughs> yeah, After you play like an event, you may reroll a die of the same color as that event. She's like the mill one, isn't she? Like that's there's some mill deck with her as the, the heart of it or something. I don't the think so. It, but... She doesn't have any mill sides. The focus? Hmm. Oh, I guess the focus would help. <laughs> but just an overall boring card. <laughs> Boo. Overall oh, boring. Yeah. She's 11, 14. So good point cost. Good elite, right? 14 for an elite. Person. And lots of focus. We've got personal shield. personal shield. Before attached character is dealt two or more range damage, you may exhaust this upgrade to give them one shield. I could get you guys a, a bag. Garbage. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I've done this before. <laughs> oh, what's oh that? yeah. Shuttle. More vehicles. More vehicles. Command shuttle. Use a special ability on one of your characters. And that is villain. So. Obviously, more Kylo. Back. Is that cunning, right? This here? I think it's... Yeah, because cunning allows you... But no, doesn't cunning allow you to use a special just on the other side of the table? Yeah. Anything. So Any this special. character specific. But with two sides. And right. I think a better overall spread. The two, uh, two range, two shield resource. So you can get a lot of use out of it. I don't know. I, I think it's good if you have a, a decent character special. Like... Oh yeah. I don't have any good examples, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not not out of the villains that I haven't drawn a villain yeah, character yet. Yeah, Use a special ability on one of your characters. Now it doesn't call it out as being the character die, so you could crime lord with that thing, could you not? If it's attached, yeah. Is it on one of your characters? Is in that character's ability, or just anything attached to that character? I, yeah, it makes so because it's a character die. They've called that out before. Huh. Well, so, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's better than I thought. Hey. Goggles. She sees you. Maz's goggles. To play a spot yellow character, look at an opponent's hand and discard an event from it. Pretty good, Maz. <laughs> All right. Now we're getting the repeats. Following your suit, Utterim Smuggler. Showing up after after Turret. As long as I'm not hitting repeats, I'm happy. <laughs> well, I'm getting repeats of you. Oh, you're <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Yep, this is my last pack. So I've got Makashi training. What's that do? A whole bunch of modified melee. To play spot a blue character action, remove one of your character dice showing melee damage, and exhaust this upgrade to remove a die showing melee damage. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. All right, final pack is. Oh, the Vibro Blade. The Vibro Knife. Knife, knife. With Ambush. That is really good. Nice. Goes out with a bang. Goes out with a bang. So that is, I guess, technically one box. We did half of ours. So we both bought one. So overall, good spread. I've still got, what, three, four legendaries left. No, three. They got the goggles. One, two, three. Yep. Three for so six. Still got three mm -hmm. legendaries left. Matt still got three left in his box. So it remains to be seen what's in there. I'm hoping, you know, that I get a fourth lightning. Vibrant. <laughs> <laughs> Palpatine would be cool too. Yep. Um, but I don't know. The set's pretty, pretty open, pretty new to me. Both of us said that we didn't really 
look too much at the spoilers. Um, so I'm hoping for some exciting stuff in the last half of my box. Anyhow, uh, look forward to more videos in the future. I know we've got a whole bunch of box openings to do tonight that I will be uh, recording slash many of them will probably be streamed on the Brew Wizards Twitch page. Uh, so if you want to watch the VODs there, the link will be in the description of this video. Otherwise, uh, I will create a playlist so that you guys can watch the rest of the box openings that get done on this May 4th Spirit of the Rebellion release day. So take care everybody and thanks for watching again. Peace!